I'm, a, I'm an avocado with this shit. One, two, three. <laughs> anyway, I'm introduce yourself. Briggs Belvedere. Sons of the fucking E. G motherfucking E. Exactly, my nigga, man. We was just chopping it up, man. We was talking about, you know, where the sons even came from. And, you know, uh, GE had an idea about just doing like a whole documentary basically on where, where it started from. On some lifetime shit. You feel me? Like like a uh, movie like <laughs> that nigga said some what uh, five RV type of shit. <laughs> Temptations, 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 yeah, like all right, so where did it even come from? Like right. the whole Suns. So the Suns came from, you know, uh, a MySpace text battling group. Like I ended up text battling with Jay Fox and he ended up hitting me up like, hey, I'm saying, let me hear you spit these bars. So, you know, we exchange numbers. And at the time, I'm like 15. You know, I'm just rapping. I'm just starting out. So I'm like, yeah, I want everybody to hear my shit. And so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trading bars back and forth with him. The next day, he calls me with this kid named Ty Stats. Ty Stats freestyle crazy. You know, he don't even write shit. He just freestyling. So we going back and forth. Next day. You guys find out too who Ty Stats is. Ty Stats, so Ty Stats is the originator. Of Sons. Like, he came up with the name Sons, shit on nigga squad. He, he's the original member. The original. OG. Um, I battle stats, and then Fox calls me the very next day. He's like, I got somebody on the line I don't think you could beat. Mm -hmm. This nigga crazy. This motherfucking conceited. Okay. This nigga conceited. <laughs> Had some of the craziest punchlines I've ever heard. <laughs> like ever heard and so I had a bunch of bars I had written the day before too so me and this nigga Kai going back and forth it's a real battle too it's not just no one one round here and there nah we actually did about three four rounds back to back boom 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 shit was just this was like over the internet over the phone oh y'all was rapping on the phone back and forth yeah. to each other yep okay cool and this shit was judged she was judged, and I ended up beating them. They ended up, you know, voting in my favor. Uh, and that's, and then after a while, we just kept rapping all together, and then it just became me, Fox, Ty Stats, and Conceited every day, almost all day, because nobody was really doing shit with their life. So we was just <laughs> rapping, like we was just write bars all day. They call each other, "Hey, nigga, what you think of this?" Yeah. And we was just coming up with crazy shit, crazy Spire. shit. Fire. Yeah, right, just just spar. And then we would have like little lyrical exercises. Like I, mm -hmm. I grab the mag and then Casita to come in and I trash his ass and then Fox would come in with his little section and it so forth and so on to the point where every line started to become a punchline instead of just like rhyming. It, everybody had to have a punchline on coming up. You know what I'm saying? So where do we get where do we get uh, QP and, and Heartless from? Um, QP, and Tall T's, and, Tall and all the and other group members. How does it? How does it expand? That Fox grew up with. Um, QP was somebody that Fox knew. Heartless, I believe, was somebody that Fox knew. You know, they were all from Stockton. Right. Um, Tall T, he wasn't sons or nothing like that. But one, another person that was in Stockton was the piece of Tall T. Oh, he wasn't sons. I thought. Oh, I thought Tall T. Was sons. Nah, he wasn't sons, but uh, he was an affiliate. Like, we all was cool. Um, same thing with Daylight. Uh, Daylight was almost a Suns member. Because we, we used to spar with Daylight way back in the end. I'm talking about, like, this was 2006, 2007. Like, that's I'm dope. That's dope as fuck. That's dope as fuck. Old -ass niggas. To me, they were some old-ass niggas because they was in their 20s and shit. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, all of us used to just rap together, man. Daylight, me and Daylight actually had a little, we had, like, a little... I wouldn't call it a beef, mm -hmm. but we were real competitive with each other. Like, we actually sent out diss tracks to each other, like, recorded oh, diss shit. tracks. And, um, I whooped Daylight ass, by the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you had to pull out some old joints, man. <laughs> right. It's <laughs> somewhere around here. I, they somewhere, I don't Type know. Shit. They somewhere. It's somewhere in the laptop that's probably broken. Type I gotta shit. get it fixed or some shit like that. Word it's the probably fuck in an email somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Button tapes. Yeah, for real. Like, I actually recorded some shit. He actually had some shit for me. And then, you know what I'm saying? I think I put out another one. He was like, you're not worth my time. Or some shit like that. He was like, you're not ready for my lyrical <coughs> promise. 
<laughs> hey man, talk to me about uh A B Hoggish and, and Cocky oh. and some of the other unsung man, I don't oh. I don't know. So what were were like Hoggish and, and um Cocky, were they part of the Suns or they, were they just they affiliated? Part of the Suns. They and were, what, uh, what was it? Like a was it like a group, a team or Sons was a team. Like we was we was brothers. We was a brotherhood. So what made y'all kinda like come to the agreement that y'all was gonna be a team? Shit, we was already that. It, it just the universe made it that. We didn't we didn't know we was gonna bond together like we did doing the bars. Okay. And then this shit just ended up happening to the point where the niggas was talking to each other every day. So was y'all having like competitive what? battles? Yeah. What? At the time like with other people? Or was with it just people, like yeah. y'all just sparring Cause over it was, the phone? It was us against Daylight's people. It was okay. Daylight had his niggas, um, he had his nigga A V. This right. is how I found out about disaster. They used to do the pits. Facts. And then uh disaster didn't hop on the phone battles, but all the other niggas from the pits did. So they like would have all them niggas hop on the line. It'd be a whole bunch of us on the fucking Man, party line, like, That's yeah. dope as so we just fuck. Rapping. All of us rapping. And I always remember I was always the youngest one in that motherfucker, but I'd be trying to like always have some shit. So niggas be like, damn, that little nigga be snapping. Like, and that's that's how I really became the what they call it the Evoca bully. Evoca was a like a little app or some shit where mm -hmm. you can record your raps. So we used to record our raps and then send them like on, on the MySpace or some shit like that. Uh, uh, so the niggas start calling me the uh, bully because I used to always be on these niggas necks. Like I used to have something for everybody at every moment. Like I'm 15, 16, I ain't working. I ain't doing shit. Nigga, I ain't doing nothing but rapping. <laughs> so that, um, that little era had passed and uh, Fox was like, I'm going to start the jungle. So he ended up starting the jungle, and his project was conceited. His his project was to build conceited to be superstar. Like was was conceited the was conceited the coldest rapper out of the Suns. Was he the was he the best bar spitter? Um, Who had the best punchlines out of the Suns? I always felt like Stats punchlines was the craziest. Like this is before Heartless came around. This is before QP. So mm -hmm. I thought Stats was the craziest, and I thought Stats was the craziest because he was freestyling. He was freestyling shit that that was crazy to me. Like, oh nigga, I can't believe he just Stats that shit. battles online. For nah, he he. I think he did. Um, I think he did the Let's Beef. Like that's where we took over a whole fucking site. Like at one time we just all said, "Fuck it, we gonna join this site." This mm -hmm. is before grind time, any of that shit. Jumped on Let's Beef dot com. I don't know that's beef that time. That nigga, time. We mm -hmm. were crazy on there. Like niggas was winning all their battles. I think I lost one battle. I think I lost one. This nigga Khan was undefeated. Nigga, he was only doing the um the fucking microphone battles. I was doing text battles and shit. Mm. Uh yeah, we fucking took over that shit. Like that became our playground. We would go in there and practice on them niggas. <laughs> and then you know what I'm saying. Damn like, man. Amongst each other, we would just keep rapping to each other, still doing the lyrical exercises. Big Draco talking about he's the yeah. first nigga on the internet. You know what I'm saying? All these niggas <laughs> <guys, laughs> talking about the punchliners and shit. Nigga, I've been doing this. Nigga. Fifteen years. <laughs> over, over. I mean, if you if you yeah. talking about we're at, we're in 2019 yeah. and this was 06. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, well, 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 almost, almost years, yeah, man. almost 15. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah. So, uh, like, so conceited has went on to become, you know, world famous. Uh, no, this is before. Hold up, let's beef. All right, it's time for this nigga to do something different. It's time for this nigga to do something beyond let's beef. This is where Fox is like, let's start the jungle. The jungle starts out kind of slow. But he has conceded battle uh L dot. L dot. Oh my god. Shouts to L dot. This nigga conceded name flip this nigga into oblivion. <laughs> like yeah, it was so many name flips and punchlines. Yeah, that was, battle I don't I don't yes, YouTube. It is on YouTube. It's still it should still be on YouTube. Y'all check um, out that shit. Um mm -hmm. it was L dot. Mm -hmm. From that, I think Conceited gained attention for Grind Time. And Grind Time did a little uh, jungle fusion. And then they uh, they had Conceited versus Tall T. And I think this is when Heartless came into the picture. I remember. Yeah, this is what Heartless battled, I think, Cole P. 
or Fox did. One of them niggas did. I just know I remember Heartless jumping in and QP coming in around that time. And I didn't really know them, but Fox, those was Fox homeboys, and he put them on. And then eventually, you know, they was like, uh, they're going to become sons. But we all had to vote them in. So I heard them niggas rap. Uh, yeah, man, they sons. So how was the voting process that y'all had to, yeah. like... Cause you say you they had to rap. They had to rap on the phone, and then we all had to listen, and then we all had to vote. Like, yeah. So it wasn't we like a battle or nothing. They ain't had to battle nobody. Nah, they ain't had to shit. battle nobody. They should have mm -hmm. battled somebody. <laughs> but the niggas rap good enough, and, and to be honest with you, Heartless was cold as fuck. Like to this day, I still think he is the craziest punch. I think Heartless cold too. Heartless crazy man. Harley's is crazy, crazy, man. He's the craziest punch. You know, and I, I had an honor to battle you and Harley's. You know what I'm saying? And and QP. I have battled a lot of the Suns members. Well, you know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Our shit was crazy out there in Atlanta, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was years ago. Like, five years ago. Was shit like that. Like, that minute. damn. That's crazy. Like, we getting old in this battle shit, man. Yeah. Like, still getting money. <laughs> <laughs> we still get paid to do this shit, man. Nah, but... uh. Yeah, they did that event, and then um, the next event, Khan did, uh, I think it was Grizzle Mania for Grind Time, where he battled uh, Ilmac. Mm -hmm. That's when that nigga became a superstar. So how long more before, like, the jungle was Grind Time going on? Like, like how more how solidified was Grind Time when the jungle, when, it, when grind time first was, started? Like, Grind Time on, was that's... already solidified. We, um... Conceited was our gateway in. He was gotcha. the one that changed up the format. Like, I remember Grind Time was all a bunch of mom jokes and fart jokes and gay jokes and shit like that. And Conceited came in like, I gripped the blicky. Da, 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 da. That nigga like, kind of changed the way niggas changed. punched too, because it was changed. like, like he changed, like a lot of niggas' style came after that. Like yeah. it was patterned after yeah, what the, the, the the blicky, the swammy, the all them yeah, type of words yeah, yeah. he was using and shit. Niggas was not rapping like that. Even niggas, to this yeah. day, I still niggas. Nigga I see the nigga, like, nigga battled um the nigga battled Cortez. Nigga could see the battle of Cortez. He battled Ilmac. Good, but I know the Ilmac battle was the one that made that nigga. Niggas was like yo. Yeah, Ilmac is probably one of them niggas on yeah, time. He was he was one of them niggas, and they wasn't expecting some new nigga conceited to just come in there. That man flipped that nigga's name crazy. That nigga had so many ill flips, so many Mac flips, so many man. It it was crazy. It was crazy. And I remember being so proud. I think I was just turning. I was just turning seventeen, eighteen, and I seen that battle. I said, "Yo, this nigga's a star." Damn. Now, Next thing now. I know, he went from Ilmac and then it was Arsenal. I said Arsenal, and, and this is these are niggas I was watching. These are niggas I was watching on YouTube. I'm like, you finna battle Arsenal? I didn't even think that shit was possible. <laughs> like you went, went top shit. tier fast as a bitch. Yeah, right. Niggas didn't even niggas wasn't even saying. But definitely the game was wide like open that. though then. Yeah, like yeah. So it wasn't really no it was the Arsenal it wasn't, wasn't the Arsenal that motherfucker right. was, was, was niggas knew anticipating him. though. Niggas knew him. And it was more, and it was more wide open, more competitive. So it was more like, I ain't no diva. I'm a, I, I, I rap and, and I kill this nigga. Yeah. Right. You can't beat me no matter who. Oh, this motherfucker say he can beat me. Well, let's say try that shit. nice. Let's see. Let's see. Right. Straight to it. That's, that's, Straight that's to it. That's how this shit was. Damn, niggas I missed that era. Nowadays, if you call a nigga out, nigga you beg it for a battle. You gotta go through so and so <laughs> and so and so before you can even say what's up to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your dumb ass smoke then get out there. Yeah, you beg it for attention and you know, like nowadays crazy. you can't even call a nigga out now. That yeah. shit crazy, niggas man. Niggas be scared. Niggas be scared. Back niggas then you call a nigga out the battle happened on the site. Right. Yeah. Right. You we used to not go, rap. Yo, we used a to word. Go, well, we let's do it right, right here. Right now. Right now. That that time is like it's almost like that time is a mythical time now. You I, know what I remember in high school, we'll skip I, class. Right. You can meet me in the lunchroom. Meet me, meet me in the hallway. What's <laughs> bad right now? Niggas right now, we at hey. and, and we giving the word out. Yeah. Battle. Bro. Right. You see now, though, it ain't, so many, it ain't so many battles happening in the parking lot at events no more. Because back then, you right. saw that shit to a nigga outside. Oh, I'm ready right now. 